WTF? Right. You've got two choices. Let's say, for example, on Monday, the other team happens to score the first goal. Great. You could do one or two things. You can wallow in the fog and pout and feel sorry for yourself and say, whoa, with me. Or you can say, we got to work the fix. Right? Working the fix versus wallow in the, in the fog. And, and that's something that, that's a mindset. That if you learn that at an early age, that every time that you get, your life kicks you in the butt, or there's a problem, you always have a choice. Your choice is, you know what? I didn't execute that particular play because of this. I'm gonna fix it right now and be ready to play again. Or you can react a different way, right? Give me an example of wallowing in the fog. How would you wallow in the fog if, let's say, who's the goaltender here? Great. Third shot of the game, boom, goes past you. You got a choice, right? Wallow in the fog. Give me an example of wallowing in the fog. I'm thinking about it the rest of the game, letting it get into my head. Right. And you know what? You're going to give up goals two, three, and four. If you don't get your head out of you, you know what? You've heard that over and over again. You very quickly have to learn how to flush the toilet. Okay, I, I, I should have brought the toy toilets that we use. In fact, I'm gonna give one to Jen. It should sit on your bench before your next game. It's a toilet. And, and if any of you are gonna sit there and, and let it fester and, and not let go, you should walk over to the toilet. It'll flush. You'll take a deep breath. We call it a Debbie. With the athletes that I talk to, we'll say, hey, Debbie up. Debbie up, let's go. Your name Debbie? No. What is now? Right. Debbie up means take a deep, exaggerated breath because once you take that power exhale, it is gone, okay? You have, you have taken that flush and it's over with.